So in our last episode, we'll look into how to get started with a React Final Form. We created a basic form, as you guys can see, and we did uh, some fields uh, using the field component from React Final Form itself. So in this episode, we are going to be doing basically the same, but we are going to be creating our custom field. So this will give us the ability, for example, to add labels or add uh, custom errors or display the, the errors in a custom way so uh, with that in mind let's jump right into it so the first thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a new form uh, but we're gonna be using the same lag component but without the fields so I'm gonna be creating the form and we're gonna continue from there okay guys as you can see I already did the new form it is basically the same but without the fields as you guys can see and I just added this form into our app.js file and this will this will give us this result basically it's empty for now but we are gonna have our custom form uh, with our custom fields uh, below this uh, form that we have here so the first thing that we need to do in order to create a custom field is uh, create a component so a component this component in this case we're gonna start with a text input field that it can be a normal input or it can be a text area so I'm gonna create a components folder here and I'm gonna create our text input file okay so from here we can import react from react and we can start creating our basic component. In this case, we're gonna create a, oh sorry, I'm gonna create a text input component. And here we are just going to return a div, an empty div. And here is where we are gonna create our input, our labels, and all of that. So in order to add this custom component, into a custom field in React Final Form, we need to create another component to merge this uh, component, if that makes sense. So we're gonna create a text input component. Uh, we're gonna receive props, okay? And here we're going to return, okay? I forgot to add the field from React Final Form. This field is basically the same that we are using here, but instead of using this like uh, props here, we are gonna pass our component into the props. So this component is, gonna, is going to be our text input component, and here we're going to receive props. So these props are all of the properties of uh, our custom field and from here we can just do export default text input okay okay so the first thing that I want to do is that I want to receive all of the props that we're gonna pass into this component um, I'm gonna destruct some properties here from the props so the first thing that maybe we want to do is to uh, read for the label and also I want to read the ID and this next property the input property is gonna be coming from our field component from react final form so for example it, it is going to have the type it also is going to have the value the default value and some functions from like our uh, normal input so to demonstrate what I mean I'm gonna console log this input so you guys can see what I'm talking about here for now we are not gonna uh, check this console log because there are some properties that uh, we need in order to uh, add this component into our form if not we're gonna get some errors but we'll look into this uh, this output here later okay so now that we have our input we're also gonna receive the rest of the props that 
our component can have. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Remember guys that I told you that we are gonna be creating our text input that can be either a text area or a normal input. So the first thing is to check if this is a text area. And the way that we are gonna be doing that is by saying is text area and we are going to say if input that type is equals equals to text area. So that means that this is a text area. Okay, perfect. And now I want to also set or define the props for the input uh, and it is going to be a little different the text area from the from the normal input um, and that difference is for example in a text area we don't have a type but uh, we need that in our normal input so I'm going to destruct the type here and I'm going to also uh, set like the input without type. And we're going to destruct that from the input here. So basically, we are just removing the type from the input so we can pass this input without type to our text area. Okay, so to demonstrate that, I'm going to say input props here and I'm going to check if this is a text area and if it is a text area we're gonna okay this is a little bit messy if this is a text area we are gonna pass our input props without type and we're also going to pass our rest uh, props uh, and also I wanna pass the ID to these uh, props this is for the text area and for the normal input we are going to receive an ID but we also going but we are going to need our type here because it's required so we're going to pass the type and the rest is the same from the text area so I'm just going to say copy and paste okay guys so perfect so now we have basically the props that we need for our input so here I'm gonna start with the label in our return function. I'm gonna start with the label. Remember that we pass a props here with the label, so we're gonna display a label if we have the label prop. So label HTML4 in this case for our ID. Remember that we pass the ID in the input props and the text is going to be basically the label uh, and we, if we don't have we are going to say null okay awesome now we need to check if this is a text area and if it is a text area we say text area and we set or pass our input props and if not we pass our input a normal input with our input props okay I'm gonna close the input from here and I forgot to close also our text area okay perfect okay I'm looking to see if there's something that I miss but I think we can we can test this I'm gonna save it and yeah this is this will be like our basic input for now so remember that we also have our console log here so we can see the properties that we have with our input so i'm gonna go to the form that we created uh, i'm gonna import that form um uh, that form sorry guys that the input that we created components that's input okay so from here I'm gonna say we're gonna be creating these same fields so I'm gonna copy these ones over here just to have like a reference from what I need to do with this so here I'm gonna create our text input and we are going to copy and paste these props because there are some of them that we can use 
we don't need the component in this case because we are already creating a custom component this is not a text area so it is not really necessary to pass a type um, here I'm gonna add the ID we need this for the label I'm gonna set I'm gonna set it to be name and the label is going to be name I'm gonna think I can format this differently so it doesn't look so messy I'm gonna format this I'm gonna save it I'm gonna see if it is working so okay so as you guys can see we have here our name uh, label we also have uh, the placeholder uh, and basically everything is the same so to see if this is working oh okay now that we are here this is the a uh, console log of the input that we did in this part over here as you guys can see the input comes with these props has the name the checked the on blur on chain on focus the value and and this is basically the property that we can access from there uh, and it is always going to be in the input because this is the way the react final form works so i'm gonna clear this and i'm gonna add a name i'm just gonna type something random and i'm gonna say send and this send as you guys can see it has the name so it basically it works the same that this form that we did here but in this case we have the option to customize an input field so now I'm gonna do the same for the email and for our little section of comment here okay so first I'm gonna remove this console log input we don't need it and here I'm gonna be doing the same for our email but in this case we need to pass our email field here because uh, we need it okay uh, and the ID is gonna be email and the name email and same for the placeholder and we're also going to add our comment area okay so our ID is our comment type is a text area our name is gonna be a comment label labels I don't know if this can receive a label but I'm gonna a, a placeholder but we're gonna pass the placeholder to be also comment okay okay so now I think we can delete this also okay now let's see how this looks on the browser okay so as you guys can see we have our three uh, inputs custom input fields we have our name email and comment with the label so I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this form and hit the same button so we can see the results okay guys so I saw an error and the thing is that as you guys can see if I'm completing this name we also are filling our email so to fix that we are gonna go into our code so as you guys can see we have the name same as the name input field so I'm just gonna change it to email and I should fix it okay guys so I fill the, um, the the fields and I'm gonna hit the same button so we can see okay so now we have our name email and comment displaying on the screen okay awesome okay so that will be basically all we need for basic input uh, component uh, of course you can do more you can add uh, like display errors here but that is something that we are going to be doing in our next series um, but but yeah basically this is pretty much for a text input component okay guys now that we have our custom text input fields it is time to create our select input field it is basically the same but with a couple of changes so I'm gonna go to the steps of creating this a uh, custom select field okay so I'm gonna create a new component called select field.js 
I'm going to go into our text input that we just created. I'm going to copy and paste all the code here. Okay, I'm going to change some names here. I'm going to change select input component and I'm going to uh, replace it in this component here. I'm going to also change the select input over here and also the export default. Okay, so a couple of things to consider here. We are not using uh, this text area anymore, neither this destruct uh, input. Uh, we don't need to verify if it is a text area, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm also going to remove this one over here. This input without type, we're just going to pass our normal input. We still need the ID and the rest in case that we uh, there's something that we need to pass over there. Okay, uh, there is something else that we need to pass, and it is our children prop. Okay, so here we also don't need our is text area. So I'm gonna replace this with our select field. Uh, I'm going to remove also this input and we can close our select over here. Oh, what I'm doing? Okay, select. Okay, perfect. We still have our label. It is going to be the same. Um, but here we, uh, we are passing also our input props, so we don't forget that. Um, and here in our I'm gonna remove this slash okay and these are select okay okay a lot of error this but doesn't really matter um, here this is where we are gonna pass our children because in this case our children is gonna be our different options that we are gonna have in our select field so yeah basic, basically this is all we need for our select input component I'm gonna save it I'm gonna come into our new form that uh, where we are using our custom inputs and I'm gonna import our select field okay now that we have our select field I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna say select field and we are gonna copy the props from our getting started form. So I'm gonna paste it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna change the name for country. Also, we don't need the component, but we do, we do need our name, our ID. So I'm gonna use the same line over there okay I have the ID and also we also need the label and this one is gonna be country and the options are gonna be the same from here okay so I'm just gonna copy and paste this and we are gonna format this and it should be work um, okay I, I have an error and it is when I'm trying to import this uh, select field. So I'm just going to remove that and it should be working now. Okay, so as you guys can see here we have also our select field similar to this one over there. Uh, but in this case we have our label. I'm gonna just select a different country. I'm gonna hit the send button. As you guys can see we have our country. I'll uh, select another one and I hit send. We have our country over here. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And see you guys on the next one.